Okay, so I've got a really useful video for you here. This is a video that's gonna help you out of possession. It's gonna be really useful in particular if you're a defender, but it applies anywhere across the pitch really. I wanna to talk to you about your marking position and how you're gonna keep your opponent facing away from your goal. This is something that I speak about a lot with the players that come to me for sessions. And a lot of the time, there just needs to be a little tweak which, make, which makes a big difference. So here's the attacker. The ball is there, but the ball could be another 20 yards away. I've put it there because it's in the, in the shot. But it could be another 20 yards away. The goal that I'm defending is in that direction. My team's shooting there. We're protecting this goal. So here's the attacker. He's got his back to me, so he's facing that way. And that's good news for me. I want that. Now, as I can see the play building, if I'm expecting a pass into this player, a lot of coaches say get tight and it comes from the sideline all the time. Get tight, get tight, get tight. And what happens is the player, the marker, the defender, often does this. And at this point, they can't see anything. At the moment, I've got a pole, but if I've got a player there in front of me, I can't see anything. And I'm risking being rolled by the attacking player. So what I need to do if I'm anticipating a pass into this player, I need to be arm's distance, okay? Hand in his back. So that's a barrier. You want to keep him there and you want to force him back. So arm's distance, palm in his back, not pushing, just holding. Okay, so here's your strong barrier. Your base then drops so you can see the ball, okay? Then as the ball's fed in, you keep him there. And if you notice, because I've got a straight arm, I've got a bit of distance and I can always see the football. So if it's rolled in, I'm going to force him back, edge him that way, edge him that way. And then when he drops the ball off, that's job done initially and then I go on to whatever the next stage of the defending process is. Okay, maybe he's making a run that I might have to track. But initially in this first stage, I've done my job. I've got low, I've got my hand in the back, I can see the ball and I've forced him back that way. The advantage as well is if he does try to turn me, so he's got the ball to feet, it's been played in. If I'm in this too tight position, this clumsy position and I can't see the ball, I really risk being rolled and turned. And if I'm defending the goal and I'm last defender, that's really bad news. So again, if I drop back into this position here, I can see the ball either way. Whichever trick or turn he tries to produce, I can see it coming and I'm set, okay? If he does a brilliant bit of magic and he rolls the ball somehow in there, well, look at my position. Am I set to run and recover? Yes, I am. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do is still get tight. That is good information, but it needs to be applied in the correct way. So not get tight like this. Hand in his back doesn't mean that, okay? Arms length, low, so you can see the ball and you're forcing him back all the time. And then if he does try and pull a little bit of magic, produce a little bit of turn, look at the area that you can see. You can see that turn coming, okay? What if the ball slid through a channel? Who's gonna win the race? It's me. He's facing the play like this. I'm sat ready to run, I'm off. Okay, so it's such an important position to nail. It's such an important position to understand. The key things are arms distance, low level, sideways on, hand in the back, be a good barrier, force them that way, and also be set to make a challenge or make a recovery run with this position. This is you set to run in there and protect that red zone, the danger area. I hope that proved useful. Apply it in your game and I'm sure you'll get loads of success.